What are your plans for Valentine's Day 2046? According to BBC News, that's when an asteroid estimated to be around the size of an Olympic swimming pool, or around 164 feet long, might collide with Earth, and accordingly, until then NASA will track its progress. The asteroid, called DW2023 for the year it was discovered, was given a 1 in 560 chance it will impact the planet on or around the date predicted, according to the space agency. DW2023 was also given a 1 on the Torino impact hazard scale. For those not aware, the Torino scale is used to estimate how likely an asteroid is to hit the Earth. With DW2023 given a number 1, does that mean there's no cause for worry, or does it mean instead, we should go ahead and cancel our Valentine's Day 2046 dinner plans? Tellingly, roughly 1,500 asteroids on the Torino scale, or all of them tracked, are ranked a 0, meaning there's no chance at this point any one of them will crash into us, CBS News reports. Number 1 means so far there's some chance, but still, not much cause for concern. The Torino scale goes to 10. According to the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, the Torino Impact Hazard Scale was adopted in the late 1990s to judge the likelihood an asteroid would crash to Earth, and if so, how disastrous it might be if it happened. On the Torino Scale, so-called because the system was introduced in 1999 at the International Conference on Near-Earth Objects in Torino, Italy, with a zero meaning there's no chance the outer space rock will touch down on our planet. Meanwhile, a number one falls in the normal green zone, meaning there's some chance, while a number 10 on the Torino scale, or the red zone, also classified as certain collision, means the end of civilization could be imminent. As DW2023 is observed, chances are it may even get downgraded, CNN points out. Despite the auspicious date the crash might happen, Valentine's Day, 2046, 